What is up, people? Welcome back to another episode of FTB Continuum. I hope everybody's doing all right. I'm doing pretty good, and I, I, I've done stuff in between episodes, but not crazy lots of stuff. But what I did is mainly do a couple of quests, so we're about the place where we need. I'm kind of mad about the fact that we need to do like these. Uh, these things we need to make the arc furnace so i'm a little bit mad the fact that we actually need to do it so uh, for this we're gonna need to do those two this one i do agree we need to do it we need reinforced brick and we need 27 of those which i believe this is 27 of those uh, but currently it is running so maybe we're simply gonna remove this and let's see there we go. Did, did the, the bug get fixed? Yes, it did. All right, so the thing you need to do now, it's a steel plate with this, and it's going to give you what you need. So what we could do is do this and just transform these into steel plates. Uh, the only issue is that this thing is draining all the power. Eh, it doesn't seem to matter to this machine. <laughs> it's quick enough. Uh, I should also have a couple over there anyway. So if we check over here, nothing. If we check over here, we've got like three. And over here, still nothing. So, all right, maybe we do need this over here. But what I want to do, uh, I've got to talk a little bit about the base here. So I do like this place underground. The only issue, like you know, is uh, these things, by the way, I think I'm going to replace them with normal viaducts. I believe they might work as good as the long range, and I won't have to, like, wait when I get to the Lincoln one. So it might be a good thing. But what I want to do is I want to use this space over here only for machines that do not need me to be there. Yeah, you got that right. So that means... Oh, let's go over here. This area will change soon as I want to use this place to... Oh, why is there a... Uh, but yeah, I want to use this place to do our things. The only thing that is uh, important at the moment, uh, me and Tolal uh, Haman is... Uh, well, he's currently testing. I'm just trying to see what's lagging in my base. Uh, he's been telling me that uh, I've got to be... I had to be here uh, for this... Well, you know, around here to make, like, my EFAB go faster. Uh, and as it turns out, it was lagging the server. So I removed it. Uh, but it might also be related to EFAB and not just the B. So we're trying to figure out uh, what could cause this issue. All right. Do I have my... Yes, I do. All right. So let's do 27 with 27 of these. A bam. That is 27. Should give us the quest. Come on, where's the quest? Uh, I do need a hopper, so let's grab iron chest. And I believe I should have crazy number of iron plates over here. So let's do bam, 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 bam. Perfect. With the iron chest in the middle, that's going to give us a hopper. Oh, oh, and we need to do two blast furnace preheater. So a blast furnace preheater. So this is it. So we need an external heater, uh, machine coil. I should be, it should be quite easy for me to make some as I've got like crazy copper things. So in here, bam, let's put that in the middle. This around should give us eight. Oh, wait, that, that's not how you do it. <laughs> Oops. That's how you do it. And then you place this around and ironing it. And this, I will give you the coil. All right, so then we need uh, to get copper and iron. All right, that should be good for us to... Oh, two redstone. Please let me know we have redstone over here. Oh, we do not. And this is kind of the reason I want to move things around. So, also, uh, we kind of forgot to connect these in the last episode, so we're going to do it today, that is for sure. There's only a couple of things that I need to do today, and, well, that I really want to do, and I've been lazy and I've been doing this a couple of times. I could have crafted them at the top. 
let's do this. So we've got two of these. And now we need these. So we need to get iron plates into the EFABs. That won't be an issue. Give me this. And also, I seem to be <laughs> not alone, but there's not a lot of people using the EFAB the way they do uh, by making seven of them. Uh, people kind of have one. Uh, I don't really need that many. I think at six we're good to go. Yeah, uh, I think that's the amount. One, two, three. Oh, we need seven. Dang it. I can't count, guys. I can't count. That's the way it is. All right. Bam. Let's go over there. Oh, wait. We, we need double that. <laughs> we need two of these. So, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Was it? I mean, yeah, seven. That's good. It's perfect. So, yeah, th this comes in handy when you get, like, things that take, like, ten minutes to do and you can craft multiple at once. So. Clean! Clean. What joke will we get? It is... a block joke. Yeah, I kinda made a couple of those batteries. Just a couple. Just enough. It is because I kind of want to, uh... Wait, where is it? These? I want to upgrade them to the next level, and then maybe the next level, but for this we will have to make either an implosion compressor or a rolling machine from Advanced Rock Tree, which we're not there yet. So, alright, what do we need to do today? Today, we need to uh, maybe make the squeezer eventually, but not today. It's not what we do today. Today, we do one thing, and it is the auto farming. So a plant gatherer, luckily for me, I've made one before, because I was testing uh, Amachar if it was making, I did not say it in an episode, but the plant sower is our next stuff that we need to do. So plant sower, let's see, so we need two plastic, two pistons, two iron gear, one redstone, and a machine frame. I should have a machine frame. There we go. I have a one plastic. Please let me know that I've got more. I've got two iron gear. I've got two pistons. We really just need that stupid plastic. Alright, so we're gonna grab one of these. And we're gonna do this. There we go, that's nine. It's gonna give us another one. Oh, that's kind of the issue with uh, with, with this this not being working. It's that my smelting is gonna be a little bit uh, out of whack. So, also, when I move the thing at the top, I'm gonna have to move the EFAB on the other side of the build, as uh, there's a B above that's just gonna boost the speed of everything around, and there's even, like, a, a thing to make it take more space so we can oh wait yeah we need that do i have well i do have three clay should work man these is these are slow without this <laughs> this is really slow yeah, i don't have more one come on hmm. oh yeah when i said i want to make some it's because i made 64 uh, but I need 64 Lapotron Crystal, which is a really fine, annoying. Uh, I did open a ticket, I don't know if they're going to think about it or not. Um, I opened a ticket about the fact that, uh, let's say you need Lapotron Crystal. So you need one Energy Crystal. The Energy Crystal needs four single batteries. If, let's say, you want to make an RF storage, which is a craft that you're going to have to make for sure. You need six of those. Which means that you need 24 single batteries in your inventory to make one of these. If you don't want to like, have crazy number of times just going back and forth, back and forth. And if you're like me and you want to make 16 of those batteries here, 
like six, 16 of these, you need 64 of these. So that means that you're going to get crazy stuff like this in their inventory, just having crazy number of Lepotrin crystal just around the base, like for no reason whatsoever. So I kind of talked to them about it, but I don't think they really care. Uh, plant sewer. Uh, sewer? Yes, yeah, sower. There we go. We've got the plant sower. Well, let's get up top. I actually think there is better. And there's also a reason we need these. Is because we need... Uh, I actually don't remember the name. Plant gatherer. Give me the quest. There we go. So the reason we need this is because uh, the plant gatherer is going to give us something that we need. It is called sludge. Yes. The sludge is being used in the EFAB to make quich, uh, quich, quartz enriched iron. You need 144 millibucket of aluminum and you need 250 millibucket of sludge. So this is pretty much the way it's going to go. Uh, at the moment, I've got this going here and we're simply going to move away from the farmer. Uh, if I break it, it's all going to go in my inventory. Mm. Yeah, this thing's full as well. Oh, let's use one of these. Can I just throw things away? Like all the fish. There we go. The bottles, the saddles, this, this, this. There we go. Beautiful inventory. No, you're not coming towards me. You're going away. All right, so we'll, we'll have to place this where we're going to do that uh, soon. Uh, let's just try to set this thing here first. And then we're going to talk about the other thing. All right. This gave me all the seeds. I want to put a little bit here and I think I can put the rest over here. This hasn't worked in a while. So I should probably just remove it as it's not really useful for us. But right. we also got our plant oil over here. All right. So the plant harvester is going to come here. But this thing compared to the other one, it breaks the it breaks the plant, if I remember correctly. Oh, it's actually gaining power? I thought it would lose power. Huh, okay. Uh, and then at the bottom... So, but why, why isn't it... Uh... Oh, it's true, I need to put a range upgrade in there. Uh, if we look at the... Uh, show working area, this is what it does. <laughs> so yeah, you kind of need an upgrade in there. So if we look in industrial foraging, uh, maybe we want to go, oh wait, you need the one before and you need so much plastic. I'm going to have to set up the plastic farm better because at the moment it's not working correctly. All right. And we're going to have to, of course, place the sewer at the middle of where we want to go. So let me, I'm stuck. <laughs> Let me make some upgrades. Uh, it's going to take me a little bit of time. I might connect uh, the, the the machines over there so that it's better. So if we look over here, oh, of course I left everything that I had up top. <laughs> oh, and yeah, I really left everything I had up top. Wait, where's my? See, this is what I'm talking about. I did not throw it on the ground, and it was on the ground. You gotta be careful, there's an issue somewhere that's just making everything drop to the ground. Alright, so let's do home again. Alright, uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. I don't know if I can do that. I'll try. I, I don't know if I can do two liquids on the same side. I hope I don't crash something. Hop. There we go. All right. <laughs> you can. You can send two liquid. That's freaking amazing. All right, so this thing's going to work pretty fast because we've got that thing over there. Uh, also over here, I made 128 advanced electronic circuit. I really wanted to make some. So I'll make some upgrades. I'll bring you guys back after. And then we're going to see how this thing works. 
Okay, well, let's do one little thing, and then we're going to talk about the the rest of this episode. So the, this thing now, uh, it kind of needs more space. So, and it needs the sides too, so we're, we're going to put it here for now. Uh, I might modify it later on. There we go, we do this, then you place your hopper uh, straight in the middle. And uh, bam, this thing looks freaking amazing. Uh, you can place these on the side. I like it so. And you've got your output over here and your input is right there. So this is how this thing works, but now it can actually be automated. I believe there's also an exit at the back for uh, the other stuff that you don't want. So let's say we grab this, we place that there. I don't think I've got any iron, so I'm not going to be able to do anything. Yeah, I don't have any iron, so I can't really show. I've got one piece of iron over here. Uh... Oh yeah, I'm close enough for this. <laughs> so this thing's quick enough. But yeah, if I had a chest in the front, maybe if I put the hopper, will it work? Yep, look, stealing it in there. So it's gonna output in front, and if I place my hopper in the back, I also get the slag. Uh, so we're probably gonna just throw away the slag as you <laughs> Well, we don't need it. I haven't found a recipe, like, really, that we needed for this. Uh, there really isn't anything. Mm. Is this useful? No. Mm. Could do clay, but I get clay from a bee. Could get sand, but I get sand from that thing over there. So, yeah. Completely useless. Uh, over there, we kind of need to place that back. I decided to, uh, get a little bit of steel. Where did I put my steel? Oh, molten steel. So we've got nine, nine blocks, so we'll be able to make uh, more machine frames. But that is not what I want to do. Today, I want to work with the chests. I want to work with, I want to be able to get my own things. So if we do, uh, ender stuff. There's an ender pouch, which we want. So we're going to have to make a little bit more of these. So let's go back to the top and let's grab again a stack, a stack, a, st a stack, a stack, and a stack. And so we grab a stack, a stack, and a stack. And then we go back down. We're going to come back here. And we're going to do this, the only recipe that needs this. So, of course, because I don't got my machine, it's going to take a little bit more time. A red or pearl? <laughs> right, three should be enough. Yeah, let's grab four. Perfect. What I want to do is, I'll leave three in here. Uh, I'm going to move all of this to the upstairs. And all of this is going to be cleared between episodes. That's my goal, by the way. So... I might not be able to do it, <laughs> but all right. So we want to make this. So it's a wool, three of these, and four of that. So wool, all right. Uh, where is the wool? I had one earlier here. There's a wool and a one, two, three, four. Perfect. So we're going to get a one of these bad boys. And what's going to be cool is that we're going to play a little bit. So let's go at the top where my ender chests are and also all my items. Uh, so we're going to connect this. Don't worry. We're doing this. We're doing this. I'm not skipping it this time. We're going to need one chest. One tiny little chest. We're going to need one tiny, tiny diamond. And we're going to go for... There we go. Perfect. <laughs> I didn't really think of the color. I just took three things that were there. So we're going to go black. Uh, let's do pink in the middle. And light blue. And then we're going to put our diamond. And then we're going to take our bag. And we're going to shift right click on this. So when I open this, it opens this. Then we're going to take this one. We're going to take a retriever. And some cables. Oh, I've got them in my inventory. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to come down here. We're going to go to the corners. 
because we can. Oh, wait, we can't. Well, we, we can if we place a cable cover after. We're going to do that. All right. We're going to come here. Uh, we need to go down. I do have my thing. Perfect. I don't really want it to connect there. So, all right, it's going to come here. And then we're going to put our chest. And over here, what we're going to do is... We're going to grab a couple items. So this, 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 my inventory should be empty to do that. Uh, so let's, uh, oh, do not put this into there. <laughs> you do not want to do that mistake. All right. So let's put uh, this. I kind of need it. All right. That should give us enough. All right. So we also want diamond, bronze, gold, copper, tin. Uh, we need ender pearl. This as well. Why not? Mm, this one. Well, actually, not you. Not you. Um, I'm thinking of things we might need often. Uh, yeah, I don't have a lot of this one. So I can't really do... Oh, I'm gonna have to make uh, some alloys of this. Oh yeah, we need a lot of nickel. So, alright. And then what we're gonna do... Is we're gonna go at the bottom. In the retriever, what we're gonna do... Oh, I didn't need to grab a stack, I forgot. Uh, we're gonna go and we're gonna say 32. So over here, what it's going to do is it's going to keep 32 of whatever I have in here. And we're gonna go 16 at a time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place these things in here. Uh, did I do all of it? And it's going to get me some items when I turn this on. Oh, I didn't think about this thing not stacking. So right now I'm going to go put back all these items. And now when I need these, I don't need to come back here because they're in my bag. There in my bag. So that is freaking amazing. Just for the fact that we don't need to come back right over here and we can just have our items. So of course I'm probably gonna add like pretty much all of them. Just, you know, because why not? Uh, I could I could do also some of the, the dust and everything like this. But uh, these are probably gonna go into machines instead because we don't really need them like this. But well, let's do what I said I was gonna do last episode. Plugging this into the system. So for the moment, I kind of have an issue to the fact that I need to treat these and these. Uh, so like I said, I kind of want to send one of these with the bauxite so that it gives us the bauxite dust. And it's not that hard to do. We're just going to need to have a recipe. Well, okay, no, I've got the, the box I dust from there. Uh, maybe. So there's two left over here and one left over there. So we're going to take this one to craft it. So, all right. Let's start by making this recipe available over there. Uh, we could also do this one, but to be honest, I think I'm just going to scrap all the appetite. I don't need it. The only reason I needed it was to make uh, the, the bee, the, the bee stuff. And I still have enough to last me forever. So I think I'm going to throw this in the garbage instead of using it. That's just the way I roll. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's not really a good expression. Nobody uses it anymore. So, all right, let's grab our servo. Boom. This is going to go there for the moment. We're going to blacklist this and that. Uh, then we're going to put some filters. But all right, we're going to blacklist these. So now we're going to start getting things in here. Uh, let's put that back. Let's grab you. Perfect. Uh, we're also going to need one of these. And of course, some cables. 
And now I'm starting to need more, <laughs> more cables stuff. All right. I think I'm going to place the chest there. Wait, why do I have gold ore? That should not have happened. Hmm. All right. So let's connect this here. Uh, over here, we're going to tell it to grab the bauxite ore. And we're also going to tell it to grab this. Uh, so the only issue. It might happen uh, on to activate. All right, that's what I want. We're going to do something like this. All right. It's cool. Let's put that there. Let's put that one there. Uh, let's put these two like this, like that. I believe we've got everything that we might get. So let's do remember and then let's restart it. All right. So it's just so that when this thing pulls in this, it's not going to fill everything. All right. Let's see. Is it going to do it by itself? I believe it is connected to everything that could do it. Maybe not. Hmm. I thought this would do it. Turns out it will not. All right, well, if I decide to do this, what will happen? There you go, 64, straight in there. <laughs> okay, so now this thing will simply go in and what can go into the system will go in the system and what cannot will not. That's pretty much how it will work. Yeah, that, that's how it works. Okay, so we're going to connect this and then we need to do uh bam. No, you're not. Why again the gold ore? I don't understand why is there gold ore? Oh, I think I know. I think I know. I think I know. Here. There's no gold ore in there. So the gold ore actually went into here. All right. So this thing is now connected, guys. This thing is connected. It will not send these. Uh, this thing's probably full. Oh yeah, I, I kind of forgot to do the recipe. So, oops, that's not what I wanted to do. The recipe will give you one of these with one of these and apply. There we go. Holy moly, that's quick. Let's see how it's going over there. Yeah, it's going okay. <laughs> it's going to take a little bit of time before this thing empties as uh, there's still a backup over there. A way bigger backup, I believe. Yeah, this chest's full. This chest, eh, it's getting okay. It's getting better. It's getting better. Why is there bauxite there? There should not be bauxite. All right, that's better. This thing now needs to smelt. Let's let's try to put bauxite in here. There we go, perfect. But yeah, this thing's emptying as you can see. Uh, it's probably gonna take a little bit of time. If we let's say take the iron, we're at seven thousand one hundred and nine. So that's that's pretty good. I'm really happy with this. Uh, but I do want to talk about how I'm going to connect everything at the bottom. Like I said, I want to connect the things that need to be connected. So over here, well, there's three chests, which, you know, I can't really do correctly. So this machine will move upstairs. This thing here is a one and output. This thing can stay here. This thing here, it's an extractor. One in, one out, it can stay. Compressor, one in, one out, can stay. This thing, multiple, doesn't stay. Grinder, one in, one out, can stay. And what we'll do is we'll have a chest uh, that will simply be an inner chest that will be all the output of all the machines that are going to go all in the same place. So that's the way I'm going to go for this. 
Uh, but yeah, there's a couple of machines like this one. Uh, I could just have two chests or have this one. And when they come up, I'm just gonna send them into the extractor. Make another extractor and just send them back in. Because for the moment, the thing that we want is simply to have the... Like chrome and things like that. Uh, of course, there is some recipes that we can do with these. Like there's the water cell, the neutral, these kind of things. The silicon can turn into silicon, which can turn into silicon. Uh, I know. That's just pretty much silicon that I've said about six times. But if, if you check the recipes for a couple of those, uh, if you put bauxite in here, it's going to give you hydrogen. Hydrogen can give deuterium. And deuterium into a fusion control computer can give you a lot of RF. Well, a lot of ex of uh, energy, not not RF. So there there is some things, but with the bees, I think we're gonna go bees all the way for power. And kind of brings us to this thing here. I had plan of upgrading this thing all the way up to eleven upgrade. Which luckily for me I did not do and I stopped <laughs> I stopped here at five. This is an upgrade tier five. And there we go. Seventy-seven buckets in less than an hour. So I'll actually less than like thirty minutes? Not even? So and this thing's not boosted or anything. There's no bee that like boosts anything here. So this thing is working at this speed on its own. I'm f really happy. It's working superbly. It's an amazing little farm with some amazing sludge. So this is pretty cool. And it kind of gives us good stuff. So I'm pretty happy with all this. And when we're going to be making the things for the sludge, I'm pretty sure we're going to get a lot. Uh... I am using a coal generator over here, but I think I'm going to be able to get, like, easily... Well, this is in, like, two and three quarter of blocks. So, yeah. 30, 30 times this, maybe? 28 times this. Say that. So, I think we're going to have enough. And by then I can just put another stacks of blocks in. We'll be fine. It's just that my my windmills were not enough to power the two machines together. Oh, and I should probably talk at how I connected it. Uh, because you need to feed this thing with seeds. So I connected uh, this here. It's a servo. And I just said further first. So this one's further first. And it's going to power this thing. Wow, this thing, look. It's empty in power. Just because my thing at the top goes so fast that this thing can't keep up with uh, breaking it. But it's just nice. Uh, this thing, we're removing it. It lags. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! What happened here? <laughs> what happened here? That wasn't supposed to be that full. Of wood. So, alright, let's do this. And, uh, c can I just like place it down here? No, I can't. <laughs> Don't! Alright, I'm gonna have to place it in chest somewhere. Uh, I do need to again empty these uh, because they're not needed. There's nothing in these over here either. But, uh, we, 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 we did, oops, we did not put love into this place. At the bottom, I was supposed to do farming area. Well, I think I think we've nailed it with this one, but uh, eventually we'll work on this place. Maybe we need other things. I do want to keep my fiery island. It was pretty cool. I think the bee is still there as well. <laughs> yep, yeah, the bee is still there. <laughs> uh, this bee gives a, a tiny, tiny chance of energy to cone, which gives 100% redstone, but... You get the destabilize, you get 5% chance of redstone. So it's a better B. And we don't settle for mediocre. We we'll go for better B. So, guys, that is going to be it for today. I've rambled on enough. Uh, like I said, I will be moving the things over here. And uh, I will probably put the EFAB in this corner. 
so that it's uh, away from the beat and that it's not boosted from anything else. I will probably put glass around this so I don't fall in the hole and die. And it's going to be pretty cool. And I'm probably, I was thinking of putting like another storage room below here, below the other one. Just so, you know, we just had to bump up and down and <laughs> like there would be like a way down here to go to the one at the bottom. And I think that would be a good idea. But I'm kind of curious to see how this thing is performing. Why is there a hurdy comb in there? Oh, oh, I didn't think about this. <laughs> I didn't think about this. The, the thing here is coming from the comb to there. Hmm. Yeah, that's kind of a problem. So I'm going to get the comb going all the way here. And why are these not getting pulled? They should be getting pulled. I'm not seeing anything getting pulled. Yeah, things might not be working as expected. Yep. Oh, it's because this thing is random, so it does all all of them. Uh, I might. Huh. Uh, I think, hmm, I think what I can do is this. Yeah, that seems to work better. <laughs> and I think this thing is even going to, uh, to pull from there. And the comb can just go on the ground. <laughs> but guys, that is going to be it for today. I do hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. For love, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.